Yeah. Okay, guys, welcome back to Mass Effect Mel Shepard Edition Trinity. So let's carry on to the Citadel Tower for this stupid trial that we're not gonna win. Really like the outfit on um Ashley. That's probably the first time I ever found that one because it's random. Mm -hmm. What you find? I don't like that. The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udima. No, we don't, sir. No, he's not going to get a good, good job. What kind of women have booties? But not the men. The men are kind of flat. They go Garrus. What's up, man? Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. No, nah, they won't. In all two games, they don't listen to you. Until something finally happens, then you're like, Oh shit, oh shit, we should listen to Shepard. <laughs> Especially the guy who was going all Paragon. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The human oh, command is strong push, and you can bet the Volus will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. The Volus? No. The Hanna are likely to be next, then the Elcor. You may be right. Will the Hanna need to lighten up a bit first? You just don't like them because you have trouble understanding them. Huh. Like somebody who did Paragon, they ba uh, they did all the Paragon options, and then at the end, where there was a choice to stay the council or go after Saren, they chose to go after Saren. So guess what happened to him? He had to deal with the douchebag um council afterwards. <laughs> the hearing's already started. Come on. You shouldn't have came the Anderson. attack is a matter of some concern. But there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect? from a human. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. 
Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs> we just walked away like, Pfft. yeah, do it. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. <laughs> it's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. <laughs> Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Maybe they'd let us join the council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes. Yep. But it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things are still up in the air. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. 
We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents, the last line of defense, the final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Yes, sir. Now... Let's go get Rex and Garrus into our party, and that's probably include this part of Mass Effect, Episode Three. Oh, let's get this dude real quick. The one over by the keeper. What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. <laughs> um. Yes. Is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keep- Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well... Technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. And bad am. Let's get the keepers around here first. Before I head down and get the keras into the pate. And if I remember where all of them at. Oh, there's some up here though. No, not really. Oh, there he is. There he is. Got you, Keeper. Ooh, we leveled up. This is it. Very yeah, I get headaches. It's like, you do not have the right to hell. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselors. See one over there, it must be over here. Okay, we can run, run, Shepard, run. Okay, I think, yeah, that's all of them that's in here, so we can take a transport. Then we head back to the, the Citadel Tower. We can actually get that keeper that's in front of there. So please stop messing with the keepers. Oh, let's get our weapons ready. That's him. Oops. Hmm. 
Bad ass. Uh, oh, they're blood. Oh, there you go, Kate. I was about to let you do that. Those were Sharon's men. Yep. All clear. They sure were. Rex, Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. <laughs> what was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Let's we'll see what he says if you're not female shepherd. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The Heroes Fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> you said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. Ew. Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it, please. Yeah, shut up. I want to bring up more of my prayer gun before I talk to that. Yeah. Talk to that general, so we're gonna head out. Yeah, you can say that. Let's take the shortcut up there. Sorry about that. My mom was calling us for to see if there was ice cream in the house. There's your keeper. Ah, come on. Take your mom. Trying to get this all this party. Oh, let's do this little scene right here before I get garrison to my party because I'm going to exactly take out someone. That is beautiful. Big place. That your professional opinion, sir? This isn't a station. It's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on. And it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big. But this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. 
It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. If you expect to get me in a tinfoil miniskirt and thigh-high boots, I want dinner first. Sir. That will be enough, Chief. All right, enough chatter. Let's move out, people. Aye, aye, Commander. <laughs> yeah, I'm going at the tally, so no flirting with me, Ashley. You know, I didn't mind Kate, um, oh, Kaden doing it, because the way he said it was... I don't know. Shy. Such a shy. Yeah, he said he's like a nerd, like a nerdy kind of way. You just go like, oh, that's sweet. <laughs> I'm weak for those type of characters. Yeah, I'm weak for those type of characters, too. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doug. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or with Who are you? Let her go. Ah! She has such a disgust look on her face. <laughs> Overload. Hello there, sir. Bam. Okay, um, I'm gonna let you do this. Um, oh, you already did it, did you? Oh, where did you come from? Hello there. Okay, you gonna do it? Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago... A quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Mm -hmm. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Move out. All right, you finally get Garrison to the party. Caden and Garrus. Here we go. Let's go, oh, let's fill up our, oh, we already filled it up already, so let's head on up, or down. To get Rex. I think this is down here, I think. It's even bigger than it looks. How would you know? I got a tour. One of five hundred to see the invention from the inside out. Really? It took almost six hours and we only saw one tenth of the ship. I even got to meet the commander. Matriarch Ladon? You met her? Will she address you? Or 
impressed everyone on the tour. But I got pretty close to it. Huh, just look at that ship. You'd have to be stupid to mess with that. She's got almost as much firepower as the rest of you. I like those ballers. They, they seem to be like big, huge freaking trolls. If they really wanted to, they can just trick their trick everybody for what they're saying. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Yes, yeah, so I have to get my my member of my Krogan member, my buddy, my friend. So, anybody missed the conversations about the um, the racist history? Nope. <laughs> Mm -mm. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Either long. Open by my command. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Oh, yes. Always have to... <laughs> I always have the aliens on my side for some reason. <laughs> okay. We got our final member, you guys. I'll see you guys next time where we're going to be doing these side quests before we go head out their fist. So, bye bye.